Oh, it's that time once again. Time for the Sonic. Time for Sonic Fun Time. controller give me a moment all right so you may be wondering what and then that's about what you're wondering I guess okay that didn't work well, see, basically, I was planning on eventually streaming, um, well, okay, my controller stopped working, so that's great. Um, okay, cool story, cool spot. Okay, cool. Controller just dead in the water all of a sudden. Well, I suppose I can use this time to check my audio balance. So give me a moment here. Well, it's probably alright. Let me see, where's, where's it sitting? Oh, it's not sitting anywhere. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. I'm not going to be doing this for a minute. Well, let me restart the emulator because my controller just is like... Roar. So I was planning on streaming this at some point, and I wanted to do the Master System version, but then some people were like, oh, you should do the Game Gear version. They were having a funny... So I decided the best compromise would probably be to play the first level of the Game Gear version and then eventually do the Master System one. So before Sonic Adventure, that's what we're doing. Just real quick. First level of the Game Gear version. Now let me scoot forward. Alright. So, as you may notice, this is a Sonic game. Sonic's birthday was a few days ago, and I missed it, but whatever. This game is kind of infamous for being weird and possibly dumb. So, yeah. <laughs> There's a few differences between the Master System and Game Gear version. Most notably, the fact that I can't see anything! Which is part of the reason people wanted me to do this version. And I'm, I'm not gonna play the whole game like this. Unfortunately for my viewers, but fortunately for me. Um, and then that's, that's the level. We just gotta get to the boss, because that's what everybody wants to see. They don't care about the actual level, they just want to see the boss. And yeah, they changed up the boss in this zone to make it harder. And 
I still don't know why on earth they thought that was a good idea. But what can you do? I think this game was made by a company called Ancient, except they're not credited anywhere, I don't think. Which is really weird. When I play the actual game, I have a Sega Master System controller I can be using, but right now I'm just using SNES because I didn't want to dig that out. Just for one zone of the game. The Game Gear tried, it really did. They had something going here, but unfortunately what they had going required like 30 AA batteries for an hour of gameplay. And the, scr the screen on mine is pretty dreadful. Alright, so we're in the boss level now. I'm gonna get this done. This part's weird, because you gotta, like, go at it with some speed. But you don't got a lot of room to actually get that speed. Also, there's no rings. Not a single rings is had. And then Robotnik cannot have us die by just random happenstance. He must kill us himself. Yeah, here's the boss. Yeah, the big thing they did... Obviously, besides uh, making the screen tighter, is they made these balls random. Whereas in the Master System version, they uh, bounce at the same fixed height every time, I think. Oh. And I gotta go through the whole thing again. I mean, it's not a long level, it's just kind of annoying. Yeah, so they decided to make the boss's attacks harder to avoid in the version with less screen real estate. Again, I will never get it. Also, the, bo the boss theme is entirely different in this version. Your mileage may vary on which is better. That one almost hit me. <laughs> you know, uh, since this isn't really my actual playthrough of this game, and since I don't want to, like, be here all day, I'm probably going to save a state at the boss so that I can keep trying it. Okay, so let's see. I'll just save it here. Okay. Because I don't want to be here all day, just getting back to the bottom. Oh. <laughs> and now I have just abolished all skill that I once had. The problem is, going up the hill is kind of a pain in the butt. And then Robotnik just crashes into it. He just, he just rage quits.
Now, one little neat feature I want to show you before we leave off of here is uh, Kega Fusion can actually do this with Game Gear games. Which I'm only just now learning. So you can get a little bit more screen real estate. At least in this game. But then it's like, you know, just play the Master System version, I guess. Yeah, Triple Trouble is the only Game Gear game, only Sonic Game Gear game, I think, to not receive a Master System counterpart. Yeah, so anyway, uh, let me set that back, find out where that is again, use the, my, my USB ports are wigging out, so I gotta use the touchpad on my mouse while I have the controller plugged in. <laughs> anyway, just let me, uh, I'll be right back. Just let me set up Sonic Adventure. I got the game running, but I gotta put the microphone where it needs to be, so just be right back. 